Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and if you guys have seen the previous video, you would know that I built a battle duck. But anyway, that is not what today's video is about. Today's video is about building a 10 meter caliber gun. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous, and it is ridiculous, but if you guys haven't seen the previous video about the, uh, the huge gun, the 2.5 meter gun, well, it's essentially going to be like that, but a lot bigger. And I want to fire it straight up into the sky and see if the round will actually come straight back down and, I guess, blow itself up. I don't know how that's going to go. But anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie. So, we need to go ahead and make the hole real quickly, real fast. So, uh, I don't know how we're going to do this, actually. Wait, no, that's not the first thing we're going to do. We're going to grab a gun, we're going to go ahead and put it right here, and we're going to go ahead and call it... Uh, da -da -da -da, 10 meter... Actually, 10... One, two, three, millimeter cannon. All right, there you go. So it is a 10 meter wide cannon. Obviously, it's not right now, but it will be. Okay, is everybody ready? Is everybody ready? This is where things get very interesting. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, right, this is our cannon. Uh, obviously, it's a bit big um, in terms of its its roundness, but that's okay. So... This is what we will be using uh, to... to uh, I, I don't know. How are we going to use this? No idea. Anyway, uh, we're going to sort this out. So, essentially, what I'm going to do is sort of completely ignore the tracks. Uh, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to ignore the tracks. So, if we go to this, we're going to go ahead and bring these guys outwards like so. We're then going to extend them just like this. And then we're going to go from the extension up into the sky just like so. And hopefully that's fine. We're then going to actually bring this guy outwards more. In fact, probably way more than this. Way, way more than this. So bring this all the way out to there. Grab this guy. Keep sending it. There we go. Okay, so the cannon should be able to fit in the middle of this. Maybe. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. That's fine. Now we're going to go ahead and attach a turret, which is going to go, I guess, in the middle of this somewhere. I don't know how we're going to fit around in this. I have no idea. But anyway, go ahead and put that on the side, go ahead and grab this, and send it to the other side. Clearly this is a bit crazy, but we're going to see if it works. So keep bringing this this way. Uh, there you go, yeah, keep keep taking it that way. There we go, very nice. All the way over to the edge, good. We're then going to make it go this way. Yep, yeah, which makes it way bigger, that's good. And we're going to go ahead and try and fit it so that it fits nicely. There we go. We're then going to bring this guy down, because clearly it needs to be. There you go. And we're going to go ahead and take this guy uh, upwards. Hey, there we go. Okay, fantastic. I can't really see what's going on anymore, but <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Okay, we are in the sky block so far. So we probably don't want to be too high. Anyway, grab ourselves a gun. Here we go. Mantlet. Yes. Grab this guy. And hopefully smack it somewhat in the middle of this. Oh, and actually don't mirror it either. Because I think that's going to be a bad idea. All right, symmetry off. Smack it in right there. And load up the 10,000 mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. So, we're ready. I mean, we're not ready, but we're kind of ready. Okay, compartments. Go to this guy. And stretch it forwards. Oh, that's not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted at all. Okay, stretch this guy like this. There you go. And that's it. Okay, so we got our gun mounted onto the top. And that's all that really matters. Uh, which is very odd. Very, very odd. In fact, can I do this? Yeah, and can I also... Oh, wait, it's on there. It is also on there. It's fine. Okay, we're going to leave it where it is. Nice. This is extremely strange, but it's going to be fine. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so since we've got this, uh, the next thing that I need to do is actually try and fit at least one round in this. However, one round from this gun is, uh, as you guys can see, extremely large. Um, like, extremely, extremely large. So I don't know how we're going to deal with that, actually. Uh, I really don't know. How are we going to fit this round into anything? Look at it. Look at the size of this thing. Okay, uh, how do we do that? How do we do that? Uh, right, okay, go to components. Yes. Go to this guy. And we're just going to be extending it down and down and down and down and down. Like a million, a million times down. Yeah, okay, keep it going. Keep it going. There we go. All right, we might be able to fit the round in there. Okay, so now we go to ammo storage. We grab one. One of these. We put it uh, there. Kind of. Okay, right. Move it along sideways. 
Move it down, up, question mark. I don't know where to put this. There? Is that right? <laughs> I don't know whether we've made it long enough. Let's have a little look underground, see if we can get there. Okay. Uh, I can't even reach the bottom of this anymore. I can't actually... No, this isn't... That's not going to work. All right, we did it. We actually did it. We've made it big enough to hold the round uh, inside itself. Oh, it's just exploded itself too. That's an issue. Oh, that is a big old issue. How do I sort that out then? I actually don't know. Um, <laughs> I really don't know. Okay, can we? And this, this could be very interesting to see how this works. Rotate this. The, that, the, this, this, whoa, no, no, yeah, that way. Can we have that like that? Is that strange? Okay, something exploded. Something has exploded, but it is fine. Okay, right, that somewhat worked. Excellent. Okay, so now we go to this side, and we're going to extend this guy this way too. Here we go. Uh, just like that. There we go. Excellent. And now we are... We're ready. <laughs> I say we're ready. We are not ready. We are we are definitely not ready. But anyway, uh, go in here. Gun mount. Yes. Uh, go to cannon. Yes. Gun sight. Go ahead and smack that directly on there. Um, the round itself. I'm going to make an APHE. Go. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Okay, I feel like that should have done more damage. It doesn't explode very much, but watch the round. <laughs> I mean, the round just gets absolutely kapowed out of this gun. Okay, right. Go to firepower. Yes. Go to the cannon itself. Yes. Make this thing 100. Make that thing 100. Make it six meters long. Yes. Okay. We're then going to go ahead and do another one. Also six meters long. Six meters is, is not an awful lot in the grand scheme of things. And then we're going to do it again. Uh, another one. Six meters long. Yes. And then this, and this, go. Okay, can we aim it up? Can I not actually move this? I don't think I can move this. I think it might be a little bit stuck for some reason. Anyway, fire. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if there was anything there, that would be amazing. Okay. Uh, so, why can't we um, move this around? I'm assuming the torque and the ratio won't actually allow it to happen. Um, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. I think it is moving. Oh, uh, I guess, I guess it was moving, but that's not amazing. Uh, that is not amazing at all. All right, let's fire this round. Three, two, one, go. Okay, right. I want to design this tank slightly differently, actually. I want to be able to fire this thing. Essentially, like, directly up in the sky. So, how do we go about doing that, then? I think we move this to a different location. So, we bring this all the way up. My camera can't even do this. And then we twist it so that it fits. Not that kind of twist. Also, not that kind of twist. This kind of twist. There we go. But we also need it to fit down there, too. So, we need to extend it upwards into the sky as much as it can. To be able to fit it down here as well. Which I think... No, I was going to say we were about done, but we're not. All right, keep it going up. Keep it going up. It's like a building. It's like a skyscraper. Okay, keep going. Keep going. I, I don't think this is... I don't think this is practical. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't feel like that's practical at all. <laughs> okay, I can barely even grab this piece. No, not that one. We need the blue one. I can't actually seem to click on it anymore. I also can't zoom out anymore either. Alright, that's not... It's not really going to plan. Um, okay. I genuinely... Oh, there we go. I'm finding it extremely difficult. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes! Okay. Right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> right, spawn that in. Oh, it's not attached to anything, so clearly that wasn't going to work. Where'd it go? <gasps> no, where did it go? Where's the turret gone? Where's it gone? No! Ah! What in the world? Okay, uh... Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, so for some reason, I can't actually get rid of this gun, and it's really annoying me, because uh, I need to be able to, but... 
Yeah, I, I can't actually select it. It's it's in the ground, and there's nothing I can do about it. There is nothing I can do about it. Okay, so, <laughs> this is where we are currently at. I've built two towers so that we can attach the gun in the middle of here. Hopefully, this will now allow it to work. It might, it might not. We'll see. Okay, so now we're in a new position. I've added the turret to the center, and uh, I can't see a single thing. It is far too big. Clearly, this is... Uh, <laughs> This is just a really dumb idea, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. So, we're going to add a gunner's sight right there so we can actually see. We're also going to add a mantler, which is going to be one of these guys. And that's going to go... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, right. All of that needs to come back this way. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. Undo, 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 undo. Okay, right. Now we need to grab the actual turret itself. We need to roll it. So that it is now facing in the right direction. Which I believe is this way. N what in the world? No, okay, not that way. Uh, maybe this way? No, not that way. This way. Okay, yes. Okay, if I can do that enough, that will be fine. Okay, good. So now that we've done this, we're going to go to the rear one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and extend it backwards. And that's going to be us. Okay, here we go. Grab this. Extend the mundo. There we go. And do it a lot, too. Alright, keep grabbing the green and go. Hey, there we go. Okay, so, we got that built. Good. We now got to put the gun on the front. So, grab this guy. Whack it on there. Go ahead and put the action... Oh, it's the wrong way around. Of course it is. Of Why wouldn't it be? Why would it not be the wrong way around? Okay, hang on. Eh, no, not that one. Eh, kind of, yeah, but not really. Because that bit now needs to come all the way this way. Which is impossible. <laughs> it is. I, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Because I need to grab the green one. And the green one's... No. Undo. 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 Okay. Undo. 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 There we go. Right. Rotate it round. Uh, again. Okay. So this one. Yes. Because now this way is the front. So let's just make sure that's the case. Yes. And... Uh, yes. Okay. Right. It fits too. Excellent. Bosh. Okay, now we can actually get on with it. So grab this. Uh, put the extendy tool on. Do it. Extendy tool, go. A million miles backwards. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, hang on. That'll do. We'll leave it like that. <laughs> okay, firepower. Ammunition. Uh, where is that? Ammo storage. Good. Grab one of these. Whack it directly in there. It fits. There is no... Can we put... Can we put two in? <laughs> <laughs> can we actually put two of these in there? I think we can fit two. No way if we... We can actually fit two! Okay, that's wrong. That is just wrong. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to reload it anyway. It takes forever. Like an absolute eternity. So there's no point in that, actually. Which now actually means... Oh, actually, yeah. Now means that if we put this one in... Just like that. There you go. We can maybe make it smaller in terms of its length in the compartment issues. Okay, yeah? Okay, please say this will work. No. Undo. Hang on. Let's go slightly sideways so maybe we can grab it. I can't grab it. Okay, it's just going to have to stay as is. It's just going to stay as is. That's fine. Right, put this actually in there so it fits. Good. Cannon. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make this really long, really big, and see what we can do. Okay, so I just made it really long. That's good. Now we need an actual uh, gunner's sight. There we go. So now we can see. Actually down the barrel of the gun, which is a bit of a weird way of doing it. But let's go ahead and try and aim it. Which I believe will actually be allowed to happen. If. There is a big if here. Uh, we can actually go to compartments. Yes. Make the torque of this really high. And do that. There we go. So it is actually able to work now. Just very badly. Also, I want the base of it to be longer too. To try and make it be okay when we spawn it in. Okay, clearly that's weird. <laughs> clearly that's weird. Okay, ready? Three. Actually, let's, let's aim it. I can aim it up and down. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's aim. Oh, I think it's tipping us over as we go. That might be an issue. All right, well, anyway, let's fire it. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, right. Restart, restart. Let's go ahead and spawn in another one. Uh, an actual enemy. Um, 
shell. I think I called it a fully armored shell. Okay, it's right there. Three, two, one. Okay, I don't think we hit it. I, I need to be able to put it in the, like, in the way. If that makes sense, but I don't think I can. Shell. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah. So the explosion can't be that big. It's just not that big. But the cannon itself is ginormous. And there's not really anything I can say about that. But, um... <laughs> Look at this! Okay, if I could, if the camera would allow me to, I would make that back bit a lot smaller. And I would probably also make the top bit smaller too. But that's not something I actually have any control over doing, unfortunately. I can't actually grab any of that stuff back there. Or can I? Or can I? I mean, I just about can with that, but it's not actually allowing me to grab it. To drag it. Never mind. Okay, right, cool. What about the roof? What about the roof? I can't do that either. Never mind. Okay, livery. Bam. <laughs> Brightness. Saturation. Yes, of course we need it. Colorful. There we go. Uh, and we're also going to make the barrel longer too. We're going to do a few more segments. Okay, ten segments. They're all going to be six meters long. Six, six, six. Keep going. Six. There we go. Keep it going. Six and six. There we go. The ammo racks are not fully inside. What are you talking about? They're, they are. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> Is the round that is in there an APHE? It's not. Okay, now it is. Spawn in a fully armored shell. Oh, it's too far away. Spawn in another one. Hold on. I can't. I can't even fire the gun either. It won't let me. Because I don't have a gunner's sight anymore. What? Why? Why not? Why do I not have a gunner's sight? Okay, put one on the inside. And see if this will work. Gun sight, yes. Smack it in there. That's fine. Go. Oh, that didn't actually count. That gun sight didn't count for some reason. Okay. I can't even get back to the... There. There we go. Gun sight is on. It's born in a, an imaginary friend. Uh, sh sh shell. Shell. Eh, fully armored. Sh no! I fired at the... Shell. Come on. Yes. Okay, it's not quite in the right place. Yeah, we can't do it. But we have a 10 meter um, caliber gun. Um, and apparently two towers as well. Very strange. Very strange. Anyway, I can't aim it. It's impossible to aim. It was impossible to aim the 2.5 meter one, but it was still fun. So uh, yeah, that is that. Anyway, for right now, I'm going to go and end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching whatever the heck this was. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.